shit internet apologists say. And they be saying some shit. And we're going to talk about our favorite, favorite internet apologist, Pastor Greg Locke. Oh, be, oh, why, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I love talking about him. So recently, guys, um, if you go ahead and just get a chance to like read the articles, um, um, we're actually coming from uh, Newsweek, um, which actually talks about how... Um, Pastor Greg Locks, uh, who called demons, Democrats demons, rather, claims that he gave up his tax exempt status. That one was written by Anders Anglis Anglesley. And then we also have another uh, article from Friend of the Show, Hemet Meta, which also talks about the preacher who claims that he dissolved his church tax exempt status for political gain. So our favorite shit saying internet apologist is back saying more shit as he talked about how in his church in Nashville and uh, Mount Julia church um, Bible, I think this global vision Bible church. Um, he told his congregation that he considered Democrats to be baby butchers. And he said earlier in the month, you cannot be a Christian and vote Democrat in this nation. And I don't care how mad that makes you. You can get as pissed as you want. Ooh, such such words, Pastor Locke. And you cannot be a Christian and vote Democrat in this nation. They are a God denying demon and that butchers babies and hates this nation. And the American United for Separation of Church and State, the AUSCS, stated that, um, actually said that the Eternal Revenue Service should investigate Pastor Greg Locke to determine whether he has made a partisan political mark. Uh, political remark, because if he did, it could violate the Johnson Amendment that prevents houses of worship from opposing political parties or endorsing candidates. So a letter was actually written on May the 14th to the IRS asking for this to be happening to happen. And uh, Pastor Greg Locke decided to respond in a Facebook Live on Sunday, May 22nd, where he renounced his 501c3 status that his church had, quoting him saying, I want everybody online to pay real close attention. I almost brought the document. I was going to burn it right here because, you know, we like, we know that Pastor Greg likes like to burn things and on this television stage, but it ain't worth catching our tent on fire. So guess what I did? I got an attorney and I dissolved our stinking 501c3 status in this church because the government ain't going to tell me what I can and cannot say. So the Ira Ira Essa, we don't need your stupid tax exempt status. You can put it in a bag and burn it in front of your yard for all I care. I renounce the C the 501c3 status communism in this church and i will yield back so what we got i need uh, a good like minute or two from everybody <laughs> uh, Cindy, i'm gonna start with you because <laughs> you look like you're you're pondering something go ahead <laughs> yes um that's precisely why the aca needs to exist in the first place and uh work efficiently because you cannot have this kind of people um, influencing elections like he's trying to do because all religions are about othering people and i think the us has enough of this in in politics they don't need more of it um so yeah we need to prevent people like him to 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 do such things but the the other thing that comes to my mind is how much of his speech does he actually believe? Mm. Well, you know what? I thought that he knew that they, they were going to remove the the 501c3 from him. So yes. he decided to say, no, I am going to do it before. But then, guys, in the USA, if you want to give to charities, there are places where you can go. And please go and check IRS.gov slash charities dash non dash profits 
and search for your charities. You can find them right there. And you know what? Greg Locke's institution is not there. It is not part of the institutions with 501c3. So he's renouncing nothing. He's just lying. <gasps> A pastor lying. Shocking. <laughs> yeah. Can you believe it? I know, uh, right? I mean, I just, <laughs> I just want to start off and say some men will start crazy conspiracy cults instead of going to therapy. And it just blows my mind. <laughs> I mean, I could talk forever about all of the crazy things that we know about Greg Locke from outing witches in his church to burning Harry Potter and Twilight books and Andrew Seidel's book um, mm. to to this this stuff. But I, I don't want to lose sight of the fact that this is genuinely a dangerous guy. He is known for these off the wall headlines, but he has millions of followers and he uses violent rhetoric claiming that over half of the population in America are literally possessed by demons. Mm -hmm. And after what we just saw in Buffalo, I think we understand that that has very real consequences. And I, I will, I will take so much pleasure at laughing at his stupid ass. But I also just want to remind people that their words have consequences, and it is not normal to have influential people claiming that half of the country is possessed by demons, and that you are not a Christian if you vote for somebody that he doesn't like. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, you are, you guys are very much so correct. Um, Pastor Greg Locke, even though like we like to end on a, on a high note when it comes to, you know, some dumb shit that he has to say and he, and, and I say he has to say it only because it it's what gives him clicks, likes, and views and more followers to um, basically bolster his message and to share it so that more people are influenced by the batshit craziness things that he says. I didn't call him batshit crazy, but I did say that the things that he says is batshit crazy. Okay. I will not, I don't know his, is his personal um, behavior health issue or, or if there are any, um, but I do know that the things that he does say are dangerous, like you said, Genevieve, and that people actually are listening to him. And that is like the, the scariest thing in the world, because like, that means that people are, um, people are actually sharing the same, uh, ideology as this person. And the last thing that we need in this particular country is people to share, um, conspiracy theories and actually, Look to the path of reason. Hint, hint, Cindy Plaza. 